This is a child who was in his home, in his bed, uh, resting. A teenager is fighting for his life tonight after someone crashed an SUV through the wall of his home. Good evening and thanks for joining us. I'm Cherie Gibson and I'm Katie Moore. Police say the driver responsible failed a sobriety test and was arrested. He plowed through a fence and into the home and the teen was penned underneath the SUV. Eleanor Debone has that story. She just said that Jamal was under the car and I didn't know what she was saying. And I'm like, what is you talking about? And she just kept saying, Jamal is under the car. It was a call no mother ever expected to get. I can't wrap my head around it. 15 year old Jamal Jackson Jr. was laying peacefully in bed, unaware of the chaos about to erupt. At four o'clock in the morning, you're not expecting something like that to be going on. Your child is at home asleep. Ain't no way he should be going through what he's going through now when he was sleeping. NOPD say the SUV was driven by 54-year-old Cedric Marshall. Marshall tore through Jamal's grandmother's home, Alicia Patterson, in New Orleans East. Police say it happened around 4 a.m. Sunday and Marshall was arrested after allegedly failing a field sobriety test. All I heard was a and boom, I jumped up and I just went to the front, I just went to scream. Now what remains are scattered bits of the fence the SUV ploughed through. My baby. Our first grandbaby. Our first grandbaby. Jamal's school community are holding on to hope. Their prayers intertwined for the teen's recovery. We had some of our staff go to the hospital. Uh, they've been there. A uh, staff member has prayed with the family. Jamal McNeely, CEO of Inspire Nola Charter School, says this incident is hurting everyone. He's affecting two schools. Not only was he a student at McDonald 35 last year, but now he's a student at Edna High School. Jamal is on the drill team. Jamal was a very studious uh, individual. He uh, always uh, asked questions. He was never one to shy away from the challenge as far as in the classroom. A very, very overall wonderful student to have. His former coach and teacher, Kip Chopin, says Jamal was always smiling and is the kind of student who's a friend to everyone inside and outside the classroom. We act as one unit, so with a lot of different things, uh, as far as there's no individuality as far as with our drill team. So he became part of a, a distinct family that we have over here. Sierra will never forget the call she got that Sunday morning. This is really sad. My child was a good child. He don't get into no trouble. He don't hang with people. He stays inside. That's like his comfort zone. Jamal's sense of security ripped away in a matter of seconds and remnants of his once comfort zone strewn across the lawn. Coach Chopin says that there will be a moment of silence for Jamal at Monday evening's band practice. Eleanor Tabone, WWL, Louisiana. According to Inspire Nola Charter Schools, Jamal remains in the hospital with critical injuries. Marshall was booked with first degree vehicular negligent injury and reckless operation. The judge said Marshall's bond for $105,000 and at last check he was still in jail.